in this session i will be teaching you the bone marrow aspiration and biopsy so let's start bone marrow aspiration and biopsy we know in human blood there are three types of cells that is rbcs which are known as erythrocytes the wbcs which are known as leukocytes and the platelets which are known as thrombocytes now these three type of blood cells are formed in the bone marrow the formation of the blood cells in the bone marrow is known as hemato poiesis hemato means the bo uh, blood uh, cells and poiesis is the synthesis of blood cells in the bone marrow so basically hematopoiesis takes place in the bone marrow it's the production of the blood cells now uh, tell me the organ of the hematopoiesis what is the human organ in which the blood cells are formed so uh, from second week to 10th week of gestation the hematopoiesis takes place in the yolk sac from 10th week to 24th week of gestation it takes place in the liver from 24th week onwards it takes place in the bone marrow throughout the skeleton but after puberty it takes place in the bone marrow only of the vertebra the ribs the sternum skull pelvis humerus and femur so let me help you in learning the bones its skull the first of all its skull there is a sternum ahead and vertebra behind after that there is pelvis the the humerus and the uh, you know the femur so these are the bones inside which hematopoiesis takes place the long bones bone marrow is the only source of hematopoiesis in postnatal life so in the gestational life it takes place in the yolk sac also in the liver also but in postnatal life the hematopoiesis takes place only in the bone marrow so it's a very important mcq that hematopoiesis takes place only in bone marrow after postnatal life but in gestational life it can be in the yolk sac it can be in the liver now the cells from which all blood cells are formed is known as hematopoietic stem cell it is known as hematopoietic stem cell which is cd34 positive again a very important mcq it's cd34 positive now here you can see a pluripotent cell the hematopoietic stem cell from which the rbcs are also formed the wbcs are also formed and the platelets are also formed now we know there are five type of wbcs the neutrophil eosinophil basophil lymphocyte and monocyte out of the five type of wbcs the first three types are granulocytes as they have granules in their cytoplasm that is neutrophils have pink purple granules the lymphocytes have i'm sorry the eosinophils have brick red granules and the basophils have dark blue or black granules but the lymphocytes and monocytes don't have any granules that's why these two cells are agranulocytes so the five type of wbcs rbcs and platelets all these are formed from the hematopoietic stem cell the main cell the precursor of all cell the ancestor of all cell that is hematopoietic stem cell it is a pluripotent cell now the marker of it is cd34 the hematopoietic stem cells are cd34 positive so that is the most important thing to be learned here now you can see here the flow chart it's hematopoietic stem cell which give rise to the five type of wbcs the platelets and the rbcs now from the hematopoietic stem cell you can see the two types of stem cells are formed the myeloid stem cells and the lymphoid stem cells from myeloid stem cells the rbcs are formed the platelets are formed and out of the five type of wbcs the four types are formed except except lymphocytes it's neutrophil eosinophil basophil monocyte but not lymphocyte so except lymphocyte the remaining four type of wbcs are formed from myeloid from myeloid stem cells so can we say that myeloid stem cells are trilineage the meaning of the trilineage is that it is forming the rbcs it is forming the platelets and it is forming the four types of wbcs not five except lymphocytes the remaining four type of wbcs i guess you got it right and from the lymphoid stem cells only one cells are formed that is uh, lymphocytes the fifth type of wbc that is lymphocytes that is b lymphocyte t lymphocyte and natural killer cells so these are formed from the lymphoid stem cells but myeloid stem cells are the trilineage uh, trilineate stem cells uh, these are the basics you must understand before understanding the bone marrow examination now if you have already got the basics let's start the topic bone marrow examination now bone marrow examination provides a invaluable diagnostic help in the hematological disorders that is leukemias and anemias now always a peripheral blood smear examination must be done which should be proceed before the bone marrow examination you cannot directly order bone marrow examination always it's a rule before performing bone marrow examination the doctor the physician must perform a peripheral uh, blood smear examination and uh, the results are correlated of both now here you can see the bone marrow examination is performed here 
uh, I will tell you the site also. So here you can see the needle is inserted and the bone marrow aspirate and biopsy can be taken out. Now what is the most preferred site? Now usually in adults and in children the most preferred site